Hello! A perfidious Pete with a nice black screen here. Oh, there it goes, OBS. All right, as always, OBS working the turkey through. XCOM 2 loading sounds, am I really that early? Um, you're not early so much as Pete's late. What's up, Eastern Bandit? Hey, Big J. Back to Tactical Legacy Pack and John Bradford's legacy of shame, degradation, addiction, destroying the lives of the people he cares about the most. That's the Bradford legacy. The legacy of flying face first into pursuing alien ships and killing their loved ones. The thing to think about here, John Bradford, you know, it's not all about you. Those aliens that you killed when you crashed your interceptor into their interceptor, you know, they had families. You didn't just destroy their lives. You destroyed the lives of everyone they loved, John. Of course, John isn't actually on this mission. We've got Lily instead. Pete stream two hours already today. That's two minutes and 23 seconds there, chat. Bot is broken. Well, I mean, it very clearly says two minutes, 23 seconds. So, don't, the, the bots, the, the uptime bot is not broken. It, it works. It works good. Work, works fine. It just default puts in hours as a unit of measure, even if it hasn't accumulated a total hour yet. XCOM time. Hey, numbers. What's up? It is in fact XCOM time. Let's get to work. Lily Shin's got to go scan some ridiculous piece of garbage for her three D printer. I guess she's really into this three D printing gig. No VO here? Hello, voice actors? Everyone, you guys wanna... No? All right. Yes, they're on strike then. Must not have, uh... Must not have gotten the contract they were looking for and they're just like, yeah, you know what, the hell with it. So does anybody remember what we were doing? Again, I'm pretty sure Lily came to scan some piece of random trash. Yep, looks like she's after... A chair. You gotta be shitting me though, right? You sent me out here to scan a fucking old car seat? You know, I got a busted 1996 Buick LeSabre in the parking lot. We didn't have to come all of this way, Lily. We could have gotten this accomplished in a much less roundabout fashion. My old LeSabre could have got the job done here, girl. I don't want to say I'm salty about the fact that you drug us all this way to go look at a busted old car seat, but you know what? Actually pretty salty. Let's have somebody get on the roof and check it out. Oh, you have a grapple now. Do I really want to grapple this early? And the answer is, I, yes, I do. Oh, you don't have the grapple suit. You're just a worthless skirmisher. Okay, well, I mean, six and one, half a dozen of the other, I suppose. I don't suppose you have a... Well, I was hoping you had a battle scanner, but you clearly don't. Also, we are concealed, so we've got a little bit of latitude in what we can get away with here. Here comes our Reaper. Well, Reaper, you're just going to run as fast, as fast as you can. Go as quick as your little Reaping legs will carry you, because you're basically undetectable. An alien scouting party. And we have a robot, a Viper, and some pals over there. Let's have you guys run up this. And since we know we've got the concealment and we know now sort of what we're up against, Lily, let's bring you forward a little bit. Mr. Silence, Alan Cohen. Out. Right, Cohen's the ranger with Phantom. He's the what we like to call not very good ranger. Got it. Didn't we pick up a grenadier who has a proximity mine? If memory serves me, we picked up a proximity mine somewhere. Yeah, okay. So Smiley here has got the proximity mine. Wait a minute. So you're saying Bradford went out of his way to get this chair for me? Well, that's one, very sweet of him, and two, completely unnecessary. I, I was just, I kind of feel bad Bradford was trying to do me a solid. He's like, I'm going to go get a nice present for the commander. And then I had to shit all over it. I'm, this is how I know I'm a bad person. Shitting all over the man's dream. And all he was trying to do was do something nice for me. So we could double womp this pod and guaranteed kill them. If we throw the claymore down there, this pod goes away. They get vaporized. They vanish in a cloud of smoke. 
I kind of don't feel like that's necessary, though, because it feels like an almost egregious degree of overkill. I think our better bet is just we bring everybody up here, make sure everybody has at least one target and also some variety of cover. Which our boy here is going to have a difficult time. Well, you know what? This guy will not unconceal, though, because he does have the phantom perk. Moving to designated coordinates. Let's try and conserve your concealment by putting you, say, right here. And then everybody else, we just want to get them in a position where they can potentially get a shot. I mean, I really just want everybody to be able to take some Overwatch. Grim is not going to Overwatch here because, again, he will ideally stay concealed. I will go. In fact, I'm going to sneak Grim like further around the outside, Eminem style. <coughs> mm, sorry, chat. That sneeze snuck up on me, man. Ambushed me. Left me bleeding in the street. I wasn't expecting that one. God, Skirmisher, you're so worthless. Okay. I'm going to take a bit of a risk. It's a bad idea to leave these guys in the open when people are set to scamper. I'm hopeful that between the proximity mine, though, we can get enough of a enough damage on these guys that our two overwatchers will be able to pick off what's left. The Viper should just drop dead. Well, the fact that we got grazed is very bad for us, actually. Now we're not going to kill shit. And potentially our skirmisher is going to get shot by that robot. Nope, never mind. Robot's not shooting shit. Nice work, Shin. Round the outside, round the outside. And the Viper has spotted our Ranger. Well, that's unfortunate. Also, we don't want to be anywhere near this car because it looks like it might explode. It's telling us this is going to activate a pod, but the pod it's going to activate is actually that. Which I'm not terribly concerned with. Let's be a little more cautious. Okay. Alil, I would like for you to not make a shame of yourself, your ancestors... And skirmishers everywhere. Because honestly, skirmishers don't have the reputation that at this point they can afford any more disgrace. So please don't miss this shot. Thank you. I appreciate your contributions. And what's over, moreover, skirmishers appreciate your con they like your contributions there. Thank you for not shaming them. I can't tell whether this car is going to explode or not. There appears to be something that's Sinji over here, and I don't even kind of like... That's I'd really rather just melee that guy, but I don't want to take the risk that that vehicle is then going to explode. So instead, we're just going to kill him that way. Because that has literally zero risk. I think we'll hop behind this garbage can. I, go where you tell me. I don't suppose we can remote start anything, can we? I mean, we have some stuff we can remote start, but nothing useful. If we could get this pod to wander up this way, though, we could maybe blow them up with a remote start. I'm tempted enough by that that I'm actually going to fall back. Smiley, I really don't want you to activate that turret. Here, you don't activate the turret? All right, come here, then. Maybe make a little bit of overwatch. Possibly do a little dance, potentially make a little love, and or get down tonight. It's up to you. i like you to have your options open. Well, I wouldn't say shoot whatever moves, Lily. That's a bit of a cavalier attitude toward combat engagement. And it seems like an almost guaranteed way to get one of your friends friendly fired. I wouldn't say shoot whatever moves. That may be a little aggressive interpretation. I don't know as you would are really right to call Dr. Tygen a brain doctor. I'm not sure the guy made it through medical school, to be honest with you. Not enough dementia either. You make a... Oh, God damn it, Cohen. You got such a weak arm. 
You should have played more softball as a kid. 70% chance to hit is not shameful with that shotgun of yours, though. Maybe we can loosen up the stool a little. Get a little more fiber in this turret's diet and... Hmm. We really only need one of you to hit it. Position confirmed. What's your hit for safe fight? 78. Okay, what we could do is... Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to trace the grenade. So this is how Liberty Silk dies. Monkey! Thanks very much for the cheer. The Happy close. Monday to everybody except Poseidon. Oh, that's a sentiment I can respect. Always shit on Poseidon. It's sort of a channel rule. Okay, so we took two little risks there, but they did pay dividends for us. Let's get you down here, Berta, and we're going to put you on Overwatch. That other pod is probably headed back this way. Let's see if we can slip up on them, though, and maybe get a little uh, bangy bang out of our remote start. Okay, so we got eyes on them. Are they near any... Oh. I mean, yeah. We can just make that pod be gone. See you in hell, boys. God damn, I love remote start. Maybe one of the best abilities in the game, just flat out. Wow, dick move, Silk. Nah, you're Pete, you're the only person who gets to behave that way. I mean, all evidence to the contrary. You don't have Gimlet or Gin, you can't have a happy Monday. Well, that's the John Bradford paradigm in a nutshell. Without liquor, you're definitely not going to have a good day. Hello, boys. Well, I don't suppose there's any chance we could get a second remote start off, is there? Nope. All right. Well, it was worth the thought. So what can we do? We can definitely blow up this vehicle. I'm actually more concerned about the Muton, though. Who do we have who can deal with Mr. Muton? Really nobody. So who's got Mimic? Who all's got Mimic Beacon here? Because we're going to have to use one. I Berta, that's going to be probably your bit. What if we... You know, Justice... Let's get a little crazy here. I take a new approach. Oh, it works when you try to pull yourself to the enemy, but going the other way, you got nothing, huh? Okay, beautiful. The stun is actually very nice. So you're going to be chucking a Mimic Beacon as the second half of your action, and that's period end of story. I will reposition. That's a full stop at the end of that. Old Smiley, I think we're just going to bring you up here and have you give a good old-fashioned grenade-style welcome. To our friend hiding behind this vehicle back here. I don't suppose there's any chance you could also blow up that Advent Captain without hitting our dude, is there? No, but I really wish I had... Oh, there it is. Did we have it for a second there? We got it. Grenade out! Should have dropped those three before we did the Wrath. Would have been smarter. Yeah, that car is going to cook off, which, honestly, totally fine. We don't care that the car is going to explode. We're comfortable with that. Miss Shin, I'm going to need you to come up here. And silence. Strangely! Kind of hits you out of here. You know what? 70% of that officer is good enough. Take it. I believe he is dead. Wow, we scragged him straight up. Nicely done, boys. We're getting some work in here. Shen, what do you got? A 63. All right, so you're going to be on Overwatch then. And the old beast, I would like for you to chuck this Mimic Beacon right there. Everybody should be able to see it from that tile. Yes, and that's precisely what we want. We want these guys making moves at the Mimic Beacon. Meanwhile, old Grim Fandango back here can continue to be, uh, you know, surprisingly good quality video game. Oak says I am to obey. Hey, you fiend, what's up? Good old XCOM Mondays, Tack Draw, welcome. Hashtag not my shin. 
Lily contributing. Don't think it went through. It's going to come take a poke at our beacon. The beacon is certainly going to survive at least this one hit. Yep. Okay. Seven damage. And may or may not take another one depending on when that vehicle decides to explode. You're going to be okay. poked. That's okay. We're fine. The other guy is stunned. We got nothing to worry about. These guys made our job easy by coming up here and getting right next to us. What about being short parts of people? Did you ever consider that, Lily? We get the Avenger up and running again, though, and uh -huh. I promise that will change. Do you promise you won't send me out on a mission to go run around looking for any more old car seats? Because this is really annoying. So you would shoot this man in the brain. Taken care of. We're going to use your second action just to reload in all likelihood. Are we racking up early bird points by chance? We are not. You're going to reload. Grim Fandango, we don't need anything out of you. You already did vaporize an entire pod by your little lonesome self. So I don't feel like your heavy lifting for the mission is already done. Like, you did your bit. It's up to the rest of the team now to pull their weight. You already covered your end. I mean, technically, you sort of covered their rear ends, too. Everybody's end is covered. Lily, why don't you reload? And Grim Fandango, why don't you keep working that dank intel for us? Keep out there and keep finding those enemies. Ideally, another thing that would be fantastic is if in addition to finding the enemies, you could also maybe find them taking a little siesta next to an explodable vehicle or some other readily combustible substance that we could then ignite with a rifle shot. Like, you know, that truck would be ideal. Are they gonna are they just chilling near that? Yeah, so these guys are all gonna die then. Okay. Well why don't we make it thoroughly egregious and just double up on this? I will do better. Time I earned my spot here. How big is this truck gonna what's the explosion radius look like on this truck? Okay. So we can get our shrapnel mine into the explosion radius. Although, we don't need to. If this does 12 damage, it kills all of them. Like, we don't even need the shrapnel mine. We just... Ah, uh, nope, that priest. The priest is not going to get hit if we do this. But we'll also still be concealed, so it kind of doesn't matter. Beast, you got your grapple, right? Yeah. Can you grapple to a spot that has cover? You cannot. But you could grapple to here. Which does not trigger the pod. You don't have a shot currently, but you could maybe get one. Okay, there, you know what? There's no need to save the shrapnel mine because there's not going to be any more enemies. So we're going to go ahead and throw the shrapnel mine out there. Whop. And then we remote start it. It's double explosive. This is why I love Reapers. They're... They're unbelievably amazing. These guys are deader than Dillinger. This dude has killed six people on this mission by his damned self, and he got most of this guy. Homeboy's doing work. Also racking up a cataclysm of points. And you have fallen right into my trap, son. It's exactly what I wanted you to do. I cannot justice you, though. Why not? Because for some reason, a priest isn't a humanoid, huh? Don't suppose we can get a frag grenade that far out, can we? Nope. Well then. Smiling Sam. Shin? Shin can give us a little bit of guaranteed damage there. And you know what? We got this guy, if okay. the shit really hits the fan, who could always chuck a mimic beacon. We don't want anybody getting injured on this mission. That's our main goal. So, beast mode, why don't you come down here? Go full beast mode, except maybe with less child abuse. Now you can justice, huh? I mean, 78% would have been better from where you were earlier. Now I got to go for guaranteed damage. Just hit it, this man with a grenade.
Did not quite get the kill. Did manage to put him into what should be sustain mode. Smiling Sam. Wow, you got a really terrible shot though, bro. Lily? Go for the guaranteed damage and put this guy in stasis. There it is. So he's on lockdown. Silence, dash up here. Smiling Sam, be on Overwatch in case that guy breaks out, even though he definitely shouldn't. Like his whole turn should be spent escaping from that. He shouldn't also get actions. Except he definitely did. And it's a good thing you were there to do two damage on the miss. Perfect. Forgot that guy had a stock, but it turned out nice. I wish skirmishers were better. You like the concept. The idea of a highly mobile troop is very interesting, but uh, yeah, the problem with skirmishers is the fact that two, their, their two signature abilities are actually like detrimental to you. It's not just that they're bad. They're advantageous to the enemy. They're worse than nobody in some cases. I think a way they could really integrated comms. Yeah, let's get squad site. That'll be great. One of the ways that I think they could really improve skirmishers is simply to take away rather like all of their abilities that have a number of uses per mission thing like battle lord. You can use once interrupt. You can use once manual override. You can only use once, even though it's probably the worst ability in the game. You can still only use it one time per mission. They should make all of those have cooldowns instead of once permission uses because those abilities are bad anyway like manual override is worse than almost anything else you could do it's one of the worst ways you could use an action can i not take an upgrade replace my mimic beacon with hell wave fuck no Replace a Skulljack with the Hazmat best. Fuck no. Replace Mimic Beacon with Hell Eve. Double fuck no. Or alternatively, I can get rid of my Frag for a Flash, which on a Ranger is no big deal. I gotta dump my Proximity Mine for an Incendiary Bomb, though. That's an objective downgrade, because the Incendiary Bomb is great. And we also lose our Frag Grenade for an EMP Bomb, which again is sort of a wash. The least of the... Lo <sighs> This is a real lesser of two evils kind of thing here, chat. And I say that because I hold the opinion that choosing the lesser of two evils is still choosing evil. This sucks. We got to take advanced explosives because there's no way I'm giving up two mimic beacons for hell weave. That's ridiculous. I'm pissed about losing my proximity mine, though. I love the proximity mine. And it couples great with the reaper. What did we get out of this? Anything good? Advanced armor. We got the EMP bomb we didn't want. You also picked up capacity discharge, which is fairly useful. The Ranger took Conceal. I'm in the minority in that I don't think Conceal is actually a terrible ability. Whiplash and Full Throttle. Full Throttle's useless, but Whiplash is pretty decent. Distraction and Needle. Distraction is, I believe, an extra grenade, or is that the one that makes you go back into stealth if you kill somebody with it? Highlander is the one I think that gives you an extra grenade, which is the one I want. Needle's pretty good though, just gives all your shots to armor piercing. Hollow targeting for old Kim there, and Florian Bernard is new. Picked up a sharpshooter with long watch. All right. Also got a plasma grenade. You'll do, pig. You'll do. Pretty good score on that mission. 90,000 points on that one alone. We got four more missions to come in with 260 grand. Chief Engineer's log. We only need like 50,000 a mission to make it. This is